I will leave the club at the end of the season. I can understand that it's uh, a shock for a lot of people in this moment when you hear it the first time, and um, but obviously I can explain it, or at least try. In a world of football, where the heart beats to the rhythm of passion and glory, one man stands out, not just for his tactical genius, but for his infectious charisma, his indomitable spirit, and a heart as big as the city he calls home. This is the story of Jürgen Norbert Klopp, the man who brought the raw back to Anfield, the architect of dreams and a legend in his own right. Jürgen Klopp's foray into football began in the small German town of Glatten, where he was born on June 16, 1967. His early passion for the game saw him join the youth ranks of SV Glatten and later TUS Ergen Zingen, showcasing his budding talent. Klopp's playing career took a more professional turn in 1987 when he signed with Bundesliga side Mainz 05. Initially positioned as a striker, he later transitioned to defence, embodying versatility and dedication on the field. It was here at Mainz that Klopp laid the foundations of his football philosophy, setting the stage for a distinguished managerial career. In 2001, Jurgen Klopp embarked on a pivotal transition from player to manager, a move that would define his legacy in the world of football. Upon hanging up his boots at Mainz, the club he had served loyally for over a decade, Klopp was immediately handed the reins as head coach, despite having no prior managerial experience. This bold decision by Mainz reflected their faith in Klopp's understanding of the game, leadership qualities and ability to inspire those around him. Klopp quickly set about instilling a sense of belief and ambition within a team more accustomed to battling relegation than chasing promotion. His approach was not just tactical but deeply motivational, emphasizing aggressive pressing, quick transitions and a collective team ethic that would become the hallmarks of his future successes. In a remarkable testament to his impact, Klopp led Mainz to Bundesliga promotion for the first time in the club's history in 2004, after narrowly missing out in the previous season. This achievement marked the beginning of Klopp's ascent in management, showcasing his ability to transform underdog teams into formidable outfits, a trait that would become his managerial signature in the years to follow. Jurgen Klopp's tenure at Borussia Dortmund from 2008 to 2015 was a period marked by remarkable success, characterized by a fierce rivalry with Bayern Munich and other Bundesliga heavyweights. Under his guidance, Dortmund experienced a renaissance, clinching two consecutive Bundesliga titles in 2010 to 2011 and 2011 to 2012. A DFB Pokal German Cup in 2012 and two DFL Super Cups in 2013 and 2014. Klopp's tactical acumen, emphasizing high energy pressing, Gagan pressing, and fast paced counter attacks, transformed Dortmund into one of Europe's most exciting teams. His squad, a blend of youthful talent and experienced heads, challenged the dominance of Bayern Munich, igniting a riveting rivalry with then Bayern coach Pep Guardiola. One of the most legendary matches under Klopp was the 2013 UEFA Champions League semi-final where Dortmund demolished Real Madrid 4-1, courtesy of a stunning four-goal performance by Robert Lewandowski, showcasing Dortmund's prowess on the European stage. Although they eventually fell to Bayern in the Champions League final, Klopp's Dortmund had left an indelible mark not just for the trophies won, but for the captivating football and the revival of a club that had been languishing before his arrival. The 2014-15 season was one of stark contrasts and profound challenges for Borussia Dortmund under Jurgen Klopp. Despite entering the season with high expectations, Dortmund found themselves in an unexpected battle against relegation for much of the Bundesliga campaign. Their domestic struggles were characterized by a series of injuries to key players and a surprising inability to convert chances into victories, leading to a disappointing position in the league's lower half. Remarkably, this domestic turmoil was juxtaposed with a strong performance in the UEFA Champions League. Dortmund excelled in the group stage, topping Group D ahead of Arsenal, Anderlecht and Galatasaray, showcasing the tactical acumen and resilience that had become synonymous with Klopp's teams. However, their European journey ended in the round of 16, where they were eliminated by Juventus. This season underscored the unpredictable nature of football, with Dortmund showcasing their potential on the European stage while facing considerable adversity at home. Jurgen Klopp's arrival at Liverpool FC in October 2015 heralded a new chapter, not only for the club but for English football as a whole. Tasked with revitalizing a team rich in history but struggling for consistency, Klopp quickly imprinted his charismatic leadership and high-octane football philosophy on the Reds. 
his tenure has been marked by a transformative journey, leading Liverpool to numerous victories and trophies, and re-establishing them as a force in both English and European football. Under Klopp, Liverpool clinched the UEFA Champions League in the 2018-19 season, a momentous achievement that ended the club's seven-year trophy drought. This victory was emblematic of Klopp's tactical prowess and the strong bond he fostered within his squad, overcoming challenges from Europe's elite clubs. The campaign was highlighted by a remarkable semi-final comeback against Barcelona, where Liverpool overturned a 3-0 first-leg deficit to win 4-0 at Anfield, a match that epitomised the never-say-die spirit Klopp instilled in his team. In addition to their European success, Liverpool secured their first Premier League title in the 2019-2020 season, 30 years after their last top-flight championship. Under Klopp, Liverpool also won the UEFA Super Cup and the FIFA Club World Cup in 2019, showcasing their dominance on multiple fronts. Klopp's Liverpool faced stiff competition from teams like Manchester City, crafting one of the most riveting rivalries in recent Premier League history. This period under Klopp has been characterised by strategic brilliance, mental resilience and a collective team ethos, overcoming injuries and intense schedules to achieve greatness. Klopp's impact at Liverpool transcends trophies. It's about redefining the club's identity and reconnecting with its passionate fan base, embodying the spirit of, you'll never walk alone. Last month, Jurgen Klopp has said his players are already giving 100% and do not need to take any further motivation from his looming departure to win the Premier League this season. His side is top of the Premier League table after playing 22 matches and have booked a place in the fifth round of the FA Cup. They are in the final of the Carabao Cup and the Europa League round of 16. Klopp has said nothing has changed after he announced his decision to leave. If I wouldn't have announced what I announced a week ago, what would be different? Klopp told reporters. The only difference is now they say, for Jürgen, that's the only thing. Of course I want to win the league. Do I know if we have a chance, really? Because it looks like we can be around it, but there are so many games between now and then, I just cannot think about it. I am not a dreamer. Since moving to Merseyside from Bundesliga club Borussia Dortmund in 2015, Klopp has won the Champions League, Premier League, Club World Cup, FA Cup, Carabao Cup and Super Cup, as well as the Community Shield with Liverpool. With Klopp announcing his leave from Liverpool FC at the end of the campaign, who will take over the glorious team? His unmatched style of coaching and playmaking is like no other. There's only so many candidates to choose from who can guide them to victory just like Jurgen Klopp does. We will have to wait and see who takes the throne. If you have anyone in mind, go ahead and comment below to let us know your opinion. We thank our viewers for staying until the end. This is Football X. Until next time.